A top commander of the militant group ISIS says the U.S. election results will aid their cause. The ISIS commander in Afghanistan says Donald Trump's victory will help the group recruit new fighters, especially youth in the West. And there are others echoing the same sentiment. Arthi Pohl is here now with more. So, Arthi, what are we hearing and from whom? Well, you know, this is some really alarming commentary that we're hearing following the election of Donald Trump in the United States. And certainly we knew that during the time of his campaign, some of those controversial comments that were made would spur this sort of effect. A lot of critics pointing them out that the, the language and rhetoric that he was using would be used against the United States. And the commentary that we're talking about that came from the then presidential candidate was when he famously, famously claimed that uh, the U.S., how would they deal with terrorism while well, they would bomb the hell out of ISIS. Also, he called for a ban on Muslims from entering the United States, even though he did dial back on that uh, campaign promise. Uh, still, there was him saying that there would be a temporary suspension of immigration when it came to Muslims or those from countries that have a history of exporting uh, terrorism. So what are we hearing now from these leaders of terror groups? Well, one person who we're hearing from is a top leader, a top ISIS commander and here's a quote from him he said about Donald Trump this guy is a complete maniac his utter hate towards Muslims will make our job much easier because we can recruit thousands so this is exactly what some security experts were trying to avoid when that language was coming about so that is a top ISIS leader saying of course they use uh, White House commentary commentary from officials in their propaganda videos when it comes to trying to recruit individuals and when people in the West when Muslims living in the West feel that they are not only unwanted but perhaps hated by their president then that certainly makes them more susceptible to finding a group that promotes acceptance perhaps at a cost. Another comment that we're hearing here is from a uh, powerful Shia Muslim cleric who is a staunch opponent of ISIS and his comment says he does not, speaking of Trump, differentiate between extremist and moderate Islamist trends and at the same time he overlooks the fact that his extremism will generate extremism in return. So that's some of the troubling commentary that we're hearing from uh, top Islamic leaders at this stage. And has there been any reaction from Trump's office? You know, there were questions to Trump's office about reaction for these comments. We haven't heard anything from the campaign just as yet. Uh, but certainly we do know that a lot of these comments were being criticized early on. And some are saying that ISIS leaders or other uh, terror groups may be looking to see after his first address uh, whether or not they hear anything from him then and what they can use from that. But we will expect to hear Trump. We, uh, we assume that he will have to address this issue. All right. Arthi, thank you. You're welcome.